started working as chief marketing officer at another Pittsburgh startup and was really impressed with the quality of the people here, the talent that's in the city. What was left over from what people think of when they hear Pittsburgh, when they think of steel, when they think of industry, what was left was a lot of money for the arts and culture. And so it attracts people who are interested in that. While meanwhile being a really livable place where housing's affordable, living's affordable, and starting a company's affordable. There's a lot of talk right now in the startup community about finding incubator spaces. Usually when people talk about an incubator, what they're saying is they're saying it's a company, it's a group of people where all they do is incubate startups. But of course your community is larger than that professional relationship or larger than your, fund, your funding source. When I think about what an incubator space is, I think about what Pittsburgh has been for us. It's been finding not just a cheap space to be able to set up our servers and our computers, but finding a group of people who are excited about trying to build something new. You know, the incubator that you find or the, the space that you find in the Bay Area or out in Boston, you find people who've done it before and there's a great advantage in that. That's sort of done, been there, done that. And there's certainly some of that here. But I think the thing that we find that has just been so invaluable to us is people who haven't seen it done. People who aspire to see it done or finding a way to get it done. The exper level of experimentation that we can have. The, the great feeling of success that we can have because we're doing something new. A couple of the last large tech startups that have come out of Pittsburgh have moved uh, a large part of their site development or their creative development uh, out to the West Coast. I think the reason that that happens is because when you reach a certain point in your growth, you're trying to very quickly scale. And you can go there and you can find a ready assembled uh, group. I think for us though, um, there are parts to pick them all, particularly content development and marketing. Where Pittsburgh just does, it's just best in class, best in the world. Uh, it's folks who are very cool, very with it, very hip, very educated, very bright, and very hardworking. And there's no reason that you'd ever want to move that. One of our greatest challenges is always having what we're doing being noticed by those who are quick and early to adopt. You go to an area like Silicon Valley or the Bay Area, People there are watching for startups. They're used to seeing startups come through. And people who want to follow startups watch that, try to feel that pulse. We're part of a different pulse, and because of that, we're not as quickly found by those people. Just a couple weeks ago, we launched a hospitals picky that allows people to go and evaluate hospitals versus each other. One of the real surprises we had is that even within a single neighborhood, the quality of hospitals, the variance there was just enormous. And being able to put together a decision tool where people can go and immediately see where it is that they're going to have the best health outcome is enormously powerful and done all with government data. You know, that single story for us was part of over 150 pickies that we've launched, 150 places where we've given people the chance to make better decisions. And that single thing that we did was something that you would see driving press attention you would see driving interviews uh, in, in other locales. It's something that, that alone is such a big benefit that it would create the publicity. Here in Pittsburgh, we're still able to help people with this, but trying to get it out, trying to let people know what it is that they can do with pick that they couldn't do before, trying to let people know that it's not just search as usual anymore, is really a challenge for us. And I think obviously that's part of why we're doing this video series, is we're trying to help people who are looking for these stories, looking for people who are looking to have better health outcomes, looking for people who feel like search doesn't work anymore and trying to find the right product, looking for people who are trying to make a better dietary choice, uh, someone who's recently been diagnosed with diabetes and is trying to find things that have less sugar, people who are trying to make decisions that are simple decisions but require large databases and trying to tell them that story, that is the challenge for us that we face in Pittsburgh. So we're able to build a world-class team and a world-class product. But that last mile of getting it into someone's home, that literal last mile, that we're, that we're farther away from the people who are watching for this and ready to shout about it, that really is our challenge.